We know that Sahara Desert is one of the driest places on earth and spans across North Africa with an area of 92 lakh square kilometers. It is the largest hot desert in the world and the third largest desert overall. It is smaller only than the deserts of Antarctica and the Northern Arctic. Now this desert is seeing a stunning burst of greenery as heavy rainfall has led to vegetation sprouting across the typically barren Sahara Desert. NASA's satellite images reveal patches of plant life sprouting out in the desert following an extratropical cyclone that drenched parts of northwestern Africa on September 7th and 8th. Regions in Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia and Libya, which rarely receive rain, are now showing traces of green, according to NASA's Earth Observatory. Shrubs and trees are growing in low-lying areas like riverbeds, according to a climate variability researcher at the Columbia Climate School, Peter D. Minokal, president of the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution noted that while it's rare, plant life does respond quickly to heavy rain events in this part of Africa. When substantial rain pounds, dunes transform into lush green landscapes for a brief time as plants take full advantage of the moisture. Historically, between 11,000 and 5,000 years ago, the Sahara was once covered in vegetation and lakes. Peter D. Mino calls past research suggests. Now even lakes that are typically dry are filling up due to this recent massive flood, according to Mosh Arman, a lecturer at the Institute of Earth Sciences, Hebrew University of Jerusalem. The unusual rainfall event was triggered by the northward movement of the tropical rain belt known as the intertropical convergence zone reaching farther north than usual. This brought heavy rains, typically of equatorial regions, into the Sahara. Some areas saw over half a foot of rain, which far exceeds the typical annual precipitation of just a few inches. While the rains largely affect sparsely populated areas, devastating floods have killed over 1,000 people and affected around 4 million across 14 African nations, according to the World Food Program and the Associated Press. Experts believe the shift in the rain belt is influenced by record higher ocean temperatures and climate change. This could lead to further changes in rainfall patterns across Africa. However, as ocean temperatures balance out globally, the rain belt is expected to shift back south, potentially crossing the equator according to D. Minokal.